Right guys, now we're going to see if we can put some solar power into those rechargeable batteries. But before we do that, I just want to make a note that they've actually recovered some charge on their own. So this is going to be a bit misleading again. At the moment it tells me it's charging this mobile phone again. It's charged it's 23%. I haven't recharged those batteries so they've obviously recovered themselves overnight. So that's going to be a little bit uh, confusing when we try and do some figures on this. The other thing is I've downloaded all the photos that were stored on this mobile phone yesterday so just plugging it into my PC to download the pictures will have put some charge into the battery in the phone. So it's not going to be a clear case of whether we're managing to charge the phone or not. What I'll probably try and do is discharge these batteries again and just see what we can do. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you aware that what you may see may not be what you think you're seeing. It may not be that they're being charged, they may be recovering on their own. Just put my meter across the battery while it's charging the phone. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it said 23% just now. I don't know if you can see that, whether it'll focus again. It's now dropped 22%. So, although it says it's charging, it's going backwards. So that's worth noting. Right, if I just go straight across the battery. 4.48, 4.47. So what we need to do is see if we can get some solar panels to increase that. So I'll take a few of these apart. So, we've got the solar panel up there, rechargeable battery, that might be handy, what's that one, AAA 300 milliamps, 1.2 volts. So I suppose technically I could do nothing to these and just use that, a string of them, but we'll stick to plan A. I've just very quickly soldered a 1K resistor straight across the solar panel. So we can measure the voltage under some sort of load. So at the moment, let's put it on the mini, mini volts. So we got not bad. That's just off my normal CFL, compact fluorescent light. So that's low power. I'm getting 100 millivolts. Or 0.1 of a volt at the moment. If I put on my other light, Well, <clears throat> I'm quite surprised about that. 2.5, 2.6, or 2.56 volts coming out of there. There's my solar array of six solar panels. Three in series on both sides, and then the negative common together at the back here, positive common together at the front with a little diode just to stop any back feed and then we'll see what we get on the meter. So, 
negative, positive, stand the meter up a bit so we can see it. Right, at the moment we've got nothing on the volt scale. Lift it up. That's just in the ambient light. 5 volts. And if we try the bright light. Yeah, I've got about 6 and a bit. So, what's happening with this fella at the moment? That's gone down to 16%. Even though it still says it's charging, it's going backwards. So we'll connect my wires up to this and see if we can charge it. I've just taken the cover off the battery pack so we can actually see what's inside and there's not a lot. There's no circuitry other than one diode there and the socket for the um, USB lead to go into. So that's quite simple. All I'll do is I'll connect my wires directly onto these two plates and see how we go. We're out in my conservatory. Uh, there appears to be charge going into the batteries. That's going up quite nicely now. 4.6. If I disconnect the batteries, that's just the voltage from the solar panels with no load. So we've got close on 7 volts at the moment. It's not bright sunlight. It's sunny but not bright. If I cover it over, you can see that's that is the sun giving us the charge. So if I put the batteries back on load, yeah, we've got 4.6 already. If I just flick that across to the other terminal, turn it off again. So that's just the batteries without the solar power. And then that's with the solar power going in. So it is definitely rising. I've been out shopping for a couple of hours. I've come back. It's actually clouded over. So we haven't had much direct sunshine to charge this up. But we'll have a look see what we've actually got. Uh, negative on there. Positive on there. That's looking good. 5.1 volts. If I just go to the battery on its own. Yep. Battery showing about 5.1. If we go to the cells on their own, and the cells are giving us 5.8. So it looks like we've charged. Let's see what happens if we plug it into the phone. That's dropped away to 4.8. See if we can switch the phone on because it was completely dead. Voltage is definitely dropping away and we don't seem to be doing much difference to the charge rate here. I would guess I need to leave them for a lot longer to charge up. And we need a sunny day for it as well. So 
We're well overcast now. If I flip that the other way. And we're still getting nearly 6 volts off the solar cells. So that should be put in charge into there. But the phone is clearly running those batteries down quite quickly. I think the answer is we might have to do a part three of this video when we have a good sunny day. <laughs>